Tesla primes Fremont for end-of-quarter sales blitz. Tesla is evidently preparing for its all-too-common end-of-quarter push at the Fremont factory as Q1 comes to a close. Tesla has routinely used the end-of-quarters to pack as many deliveries as it can to secure strong sales numbers. It has been a regular occurrence for years, and it is no different in 2023. As the automaker prepares to secure its last deliveries before the end of the quarter, the Fremont factory is abuzz with vehicles fresh off of production lines as Tesla prepares to begin pushing vehicles onto haulers and into customer driveways in an attempt to bring stronger numbers than usual. A flyover from Met God in Wilderness, a Fremont factory drone operator, shows the Fremont factory is packed with vehicles that are ready for customer deliveries. Tesla produces all four vehicles at the Fremont factory, and is the only plant to produce the Model S and Model X, which recently started deliveries of a new color just a few days ago. Several Model S and Model X vehicles sporting the new ultra-red colorway can also be spotted in the lots and driving around the Fremont test track in the video. Tesla is preparing to push these vehicles from these lots to delivery centers across the country. With just over two weeks left in the quarter, Tesla is on track to deliver perhaps its biggest Q1 in company history. It has been able to avoid production stoppages and major drama of any kind in Q1, which makes it indicative of the potential strength in terms of delivery numbers for the quarter. In terms of delivery expectations, Tesla is expected to deliver 445,000 units. Barron's reported using Wall Street forecasts. Tesla is expected to deliver 1.8 million vehicles in 2023 as a whole, but CEO Elon Musk said earlier this year the company could be closer to 2 million, if everything goes right. Our internal production potential is actually closer to 2 million vehicles, but we were saying 1.8 million because, I don't know, there just always seems to be some freaking force majeure thing that happens somewhere on Earth. And we don't control if there's like earthquakes, tsunamis, wars, pandemics, etc. So, if it's a smooth year, actually, without some big supply chain interruption or massive problem, we actually have the potential to do 2 million cars this year. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. My take. I thought Elon wasn't going to do this anymore? A more even model all quarter long was the plan. Tesla applies for Giga Berlin expansion. Tesla applied for the expansion of Giga Berlin in GRU. N. Haida. The factory has been operating for a little less than a year but has the plan to increase production to 1 million cars and increase its influence on the European car market. The Tesla factory in Brandenburg opened just under a year ago, and production there is still ramping up. However, the manufacturer already has a plan for the future and has begun to implement it. The company has applied to expand the factory in GRU. N. Haida, as announced on Thursday. Tesla wants to double its capacity to 1 million vehicles a year in the future, according to the State Environmental Protection Agency. The goal of Phase 1 of expansion, 500,000 vehicles per year, has not yet been achieved. According to Tesla, the first application for the expansion is primarily related to changes in the existing factory, which means it will concern already existing buildings. Further applications for partial approval will then follow, such as for possible new buildings, for example. Tesla is not afraid of a lack of water. We have optimized our planning and production processes so that the volumes of water previously used as the basis and stipulated in the contract are also sufficient for this expansion, the company said in a statement. This is achieved through the complete treatment and reuse of wastewater generated during the production process. Apparently, the same process will be applied to the new Tesla factory in Mexico, where there is also a shortage of water. Source Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take. Tesla Germany is looking really good. They have too much red tape there though. 
Here's how Tesla aims to cut manufacturing costs in half. Tesla's recent Investor Day event brought with it a few announcements, including the automaker's plans to construct a new gigafactory in Mexico. The plant comes as a part of Tesla's hopes to increase its production numbers even more than it has in the last few years and ultimately to reduce its manufacturing costs in the coming decade. At the event, CEO Elon Musk told shareholders that Tesla expects to cut manufacturing costs in half, partially through an updated set of manufacturing processes and through its next-generation vehicle platform planned for production at Giga Mexico, via Automotive News. In the next decade, Tesla hopes to reach an annual production capacity of 20 million units, far higher than the 1.3 million sold in 2022. That scale of production is expected to help Tesla unlock vehicles with sub-$30,000 sticker prices, comparable to a traditional gas car such as the Toyota Corolla. Additionally, this is thought to help increase mainstream electric vehicle adoption, as more and more consumers are able to afford the updated pricing models. The desire for people to own a Tesla is extremely high, Musk said at Investor Day, the limiting factor is their ability to pay for a Tesla. Many have referred to the concept of an affordable Tesla as the Model 2, and analysts expect it to cost between $25,000 and $30,000. Analysts with investment firm Bernstein have pointed to the competition Tesla is already facing and aren't fully convinced the automaker will reach its targets on upcoming sales goals. Tesla is unlikely to ramp up new models fast enough to meet volume expectations of 2.4 million in 2024, especially since the next-gen platform appears to still be in the design phase, Bernstein wrote. Moreover, we believe that price cuts underscore the highly competitive nature of the auto market, where sustained high margins and high volume is unprecedented. Several Tesla executives at Investor Day discussed the plan to shift toward becoming a higher volume auto manufacturer. In addition, one of Musk's past master plans for the automaker detailed the company's long term strategy of selling one vehicle, then using the profits to create a more affordable car then doing the same with the profits from that vehicle to make an even more affordable car, and so on and so forth. Higher volumes of auto production mean lower manufacturing costs, as pointed out by Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering. During the event, Moravi emphasized how crucial manufacturing and a new generation EV platform would be to the company's ability to deliver on long-term production targets. If we are going to scale the way we want to do, we have to rethink manufacturing again, Moravi said. As part of the master plan, we have to make a step change in cost. Source. Reposted and summarized from Evanex at Inside EVS. My take. Tesla is always making their cars better while making the manufacturing process more efficient. Tesla wins defamation lawsuit against car reviewer in China. The wave of allegations against Tesla in China has already subsided as the manufacturer began cracking down on people making false accusations through the courts. Tesla won another defamation lawsuit against a car reviewer in China. On March 14, Tesla won a lawsuit against a prominent car reviewer and TikTok celebrity known as Boss Kai for damaging Tesla's reputation according to Car News China. In June 2022, Tesla sued him, civil name Kai Jia for violating their good name by spreading false rumors through a video posted on his Douyin, TikTok channel. The company demanded RMB $5,720,000 in compensation. In October 2022, the court found that the content of the video was fabricated and intended to insult and defame Tesla. Consequently, Boss Kai was ordered to publicly apologize to Tesla and compensate them for damages of RMB $100,000, $14,500. However, Boss Kai appealed to the court, which he again lost. The second instance in the case opened on February 7, upheld the original verdict, which is now final. According to it, 
Boss Kai should publicly apologize to Tesla within 15 days. In 2021, Boss Kai posted a video claiming that a friend of his who worked as a supplier to Tesla had identified some irregularities in its cooperation with suppliers. He claimed that while building the Tesla factory in Shanghai, the company repeatedly put pressure on its suppliers to cut prices. In addition, Tesla's quality inspectors did a poor job. According to false claims, they used their position for personal advantage, instead of fulfilling their obligations. During the trial, Boss Kai was unable to prove what he accused Tesla of. In addition, he also could not invite his friend to testify, because, according to him, he forgot his name. Tesla also complained that Boss Kai promoted his company in the video and said it suspects he used false accusations against Tesla to increase his following and generate ad revenue. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tesmanian. My take. You had better watch out. Tesla is fighting back, nowadays.